Hi everyone, Cody Siltis here with ConsciousLove.org, here for your weekly Angel Oracle Card reading and energy forecast for the week of Monday, November 16th, though so today is Tuesday, Shh, sorry it's late, um, to Sunday, November 22nd. Um, I can see my breath. You guys can't. Um, I'm outside, I'm actually a little sick, which is why this is kind of late, because I've been doing a lot of sleeping um but today after being busy and running around i just really 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 had the overwhelming need to be delivering a message so um i'm gonna keep this intro short um if you want to contact me all the information you need is down below in the description box so please do that thank you guys as always for your love and support and this week we are using two decks um the angel answers oracle cards by dorian virtue and rally valentine as well as the archangel power to rogue cards also by dorian virtue and radley valentine um, so, yeah, if you want a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, consciouslove.org, or click the form button in the description, um, to get that set up. As of now, I have, like, 50 requests, and sorry guys, I'm gonna do them, but I have a week off, and next week, the week of Thanksgiving, so I'm probably gonna do them then. Um, just because I have a different job that pays the bills, and this, I'm doing it for free, so, you know, be considerate. I love you as always. Um, let's get into these readings. Okay, but it's short. <laughs> Interesting, air sign. So, we have three cards from the Angel Answers Oracle. We have two from the Tarot. Um, we're starting off with a problem, which is our current energies. We have a card for the upcoming energies, kind of what we're being invited into, as well as a bigger picture card. Our two guidance cards, they just said, were our strength and our security. Um, which again still reflects on that yin and yang active and passive mentality of guidance. It's what we have passively that makes us secure and also the strong strength to be moving forward. And for some reason they just had me do this. So moving forward in the ascension process um, in our personal growth and development. Um, so let's just see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, I do need this. <laughs> so our, our problem that we're dealing with right now is meditation brings answers. And, oh, really? They're cute. So we're having some issues with abundance, with career, with finances, with money, with real world earthly experiences. And sometimes those earthly experiences are getting in the way of our spiritual evolution. Not for long, <laughs> but that's kind of what we're experiencing right now. Um, the real world, so to speak, which is actually the illusional world, <laughs> um, getting in the way of our spiritual development. And I can agree to that. Today I just almost freaked out because I really wanted to be doing these videos and I'm like a day behind. And why am I wet? And I'm like in the store trying to shop for all these, you know, food and like earthly things that I need to take care of. But I'm like bugging out because I'm like, it's time. It's time to be doing readings. I need to be doing my spiritual practice. It has to just happen. And like, it wasn't like a negative reaction, but it was just very on edge of just, I need this time for me. <laughs> and there's just all these other responsibilities in the way. And it's just a reminder through experience, um, to exercise balance and they're realizing that we do have control over this. We think that it's other things coming up in our way, but really we have a voice, we have a say, we have a control over what we allow into our experiences, and we've been probably saying yes to too many things, or even giving things for ourselves to be doing, we've been adding too much work to ourselves, because we think we have to, instead of because we really have to, okay? They're saying what you have to do, <laughs> is chillax the F out they really just said but without censorship is to calm the heck down even if you're not overly freaking out like you're not in a nice perfect state of harmony um, but we're gonna get that back to you it's cool because it seems like the oscillations of chaos and order that we have experiencing are slowing down and becoming less extreme. And this is just the most recent and almost totally resolved. Okay, they're holding me back a little bit. For some of us. Mm, okay. We're gonna have it for a while. Maybe ever. But 
still um, rejoice in that this experience has been a lesser version of bigger cycles that we've experienced in the past, if you know what I'm saying. Um, be happy to know that this is happening now, that we're, we didn't get so far off balance that, you know, we're having this chaotic meltdown. It's a, hey, we got a little bit off path and we're going to go right back into harmony. Cool. Getting in alignment with the divine flow. Um, so meditation <laughs> brings awareness. Really, guys, having to forcibly, with our own conscious effort, okay. make time for spirit, make time for ourselves. Um, okay, and not letting our spiritual egos get in the way. Meaning, everything happens for a divine reason, so the universe isn't giving me uh, time to meditate because I'm not supposed to. Or maybe they're giving you an opportunity to stop what you're doing and to do the spiritual practice. Or whatever your situation is. Don't think you're smarter <laughs> than the universe when you're thinking and living from an egoic perspective. Again, egoic isn't bad. You're not Satan. Like, I hate demonizing the ego. Um, but you need to be meditating in terms of taking a pause in your day. Doesn't mean that you have to get pillows and candles and say oh and loop your fingers and sit cross-legged it's literally just taking that moment to check in with your just to pause life and just sort of go whoop and just have a little moment of communication of prayer of whatever it is and be like oh okay you know they're really just i'm being guided to say like watch the us thinking because we are smart people us making assumptions Okay, us not really going to find the answers, but just fabricating them to um, to excuse our behavior or to encourage and enable whatever it is that we're doing. If that speaks to you, I hope it does. Um, so, <laughs> because we have been in the zone, we have been working pretty good, we've been taking care of business, but it's a, just a, a nice general reminder, hey, see where you're going it's okay that you're going that way just you know go back into alignment that's what meditation is all about it's just saying hey let's get back into ourselves let's get back centered and aligned or let's pray to do the same thing whatever terms that you guys use whatever actions that you guys use so again they want to go the big picture first for some reason huh i like this it's up to you and again Oh, well, that's what I'm seeing. Your abundance, whatever's happening to you, is up to you. So, going back to that story about, oh, well, the universe isn't giving me time to do this because I'm just not my supposed You're victimizing yourself <laughs> by thinking that the universe is, you know, telling you what to do. You are the universe. It's up to you. You get to decide, actually. And you're just not real. Well, now you know that you automatically, subconsciously decided and you've relinquished your power and we're just, well, whatever, this is what's going to be. Like, it's so internalized that you just, <laughs> you automatically did it. So this is your little reminder that it is up to you, you know, you are one with God, especially when you meditate, especially then you are literally going within yourself to the part of us that is all one. So do that so you can actually see things clearly um, moving forward coming up in the energies that we're going to be you have an invitation to enter this energy again meaning this is an opportunity that may arise that probably will arise but this is not me predicting or saying this is what's going to happen in terms of the universe being the boss and you being the, the B word the, the, the victim you have an opportunity to grow or explore or to do something with what's coming up. This is a tracking of energy. So, oh look, abundance. <laughs> good, 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 good. But they're really bringing to my attention, it's up to you. It's up to you. We, we, we mentioned meditation brings answers and I saw what's not gold coins, but what in my brain was gold coins. Same thing in this card, the same thing happened where I thought it was gold coins, but it's not gold coins, it's just sparkles. Now we're having the card I was thinking of the whole time, where it's the gold sparkers, but also uh, the gold coins. And also the chakras up there, the spiritual ascension. So it's kind of all coming together. Um, 
things are coming together, which we knew was happening for a while. We're ascending. Uh, we're having great spiritual progress. My dog wants to come outside. It's for a reason. Um, I like a chicken. Uh, <laughs> and a messy backyard. Um, Oh my god, we just have this great opportunity coming up, but again, it's up to us to be aware and be mindful that... Hi puppy! Come on! Come on you! <laughs> Thanks. Being so polite, John, and not wanting to interrupt. Um, so, it's up to us to step into this. To realize it's not the... F that you're not separate from the universe. So the abundance is going to happen is when you realize that you're one with the universe. And meditation is what's going to keep you grounded in realizing that you are one with the universe. And you can start having that dual consciousness of seeing things from the divine perspective and this, the incarnate perspective simultaneously is the hope with the discipline that we're doing. Um, but really, it's, it's because of you needing to recognize these patterns of behavior. Um, like that automatic victimization and relinquishing of control to the greater universe instead of realizing that that's a that's that's you like you're a part of the universe you are the universe um it's up to us to step into our abundance to accept it to allow it into our experience instead of having that mentality and that belief system that we deserve less or that we are less or that bad things are going to happen because then they are Self-fulfilling prophecy, perspective, whatever you want to call it, if you want a more magical, mystical explanation or more logical, realistic, it's all still there. It doesn't freaking matter. Stop thinking so much, air signs, airheads. Um, stop worrying so much about semantics or the truth or whatever the absolution is. Because that's a trap that we fall into, too. Because I've done that. Where we have these ideas of this energy that we're going to be presented with the opportunity and invitation to step into, but then we overthink, and then we... We... I want to say second-hand ourselves? What does that mean? We sabotage ourselves. Um, yeah. Yeah. My brain. I have to go great papers. So... Just be mindful of that our, our, our internal processes can be also an automatic pilot. The same way that we automatically got into this, this role of these responsibilities. And the same way that we automatically let the universe, you know, control and define us instead of realizing that we're one with the universe. And the same reason that we're getting swept up with our old habits and patterns instead of meditating and finding center and balance within the universe which we are that totally made sense right I totally had a point and I feel like I was saying all these premises and then I lost it but that's kind of the thing <laughs> like we need to be doing that we need to be really just just find those moments of centered and it will all make sense find those moments um, to to meditate to pray to do whatever because it's important that we know it's up to us to step into this abundance. That we, that we know it's coming, but again, we're really getting this big lesson about we are co-creators of fate. God's will and free will are one and the same. Um, free will and destiny are one and the same. And even though they seem like they're polar opposites, they're one and the same. We're in an ambiguous universe. Yes, we have yin and yang, we have Father Sky and Mother Earth, but it's still all God. Okay? The illusion of separateness is what the issue is. So, let's move forward with our two pieces of guidance, our strength and our security. Strength. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Very active, and that's what you're strong. What you have the invitation to walk into. You have the strength within you, but they're they're flipping it for me, saying, it might be difficult. You might fall into your patterns. Again, we're not predicting 
because a prediction is just analyzing patterns and just assuming that's a conclusion. That's what, you know, psychics who are all just left-brained, who take your money, they're really good at analyzing patterns of energy and telling you what's going to happen. And because people who are attracted to them are people who believe and automatically victimize themselves by believing that this person knows the conclusion, then both parties have already deci decided what the future is going to be. Because the, the client is going to accept whatever they hear, and the person telling it is seeing role patterns, but they're saying this is the, the conclusion, instead of saying, well, this is what could be if you continue doing what you've always done. This is a snapshot of what could be, but you create the future, and maybe you need to hear this now to change it. It works in mysterious, interconnected ways. Um, so just be mindful of that. Same thing with the abundance we're coming after you. I could tell you as a fake psychic to be like, hey, this is gonna happen, and then you're gonna get pissed off when it doesn't. It's not about me and what I'm gonna tell you or whatever God and the angels are gonna tell you. It's about what you create for yourself as a, a, a member of the universe, <laughs> as a part of God. We, the, the rest of God is kind of working with us to make these right things happen, but are we gonna work with that divine flow? Or are we gonna be blocked off from it? And we really need to be doing our personal meditations and spiritual practices. One four 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 keeps popping up. Oy, oy, oy. So, what did I say? Trust, 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 this is something that you can resolve, that you fully have the power to do. Withdraw from the drama of others, withdraw from the own drama, the own mental drama that we talked about. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Patience, patience, patience. Ground yourself. Meditate. Detach. <laughs> okay? And so it is. Let it be. Give it permission to exist. Other piece of advice before we depart. Seven of Ariel. I like this. Commander of his material world with that wand there. Or staff or whatever. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Ooh, all this abundant stuff and this has been coming up a lot. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So being the more security here, the thing that we are grounded in knowing, the more yin aspect, the more passive, just know this and let it come to you. Re you, re you did the good things, just be open to... <laughs> You've planted the seeds, you watered it, you let it grew, the good things are coming. But now it's a matter of picking it exactly at the right time. If that makes, that might be a terrible analogy. Um, just know that you've done the right things in the past and you want to stay grounded in what you've been doing in the past instead of falling into the same old routines. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Don't pick too early. Don't wait too late or forget that it's happening, that you did the good work and then it's going to spoil. Review your progress. So again, going back, introspection, seeing where you've come from, where you're going and make plans for your next endeavor. Again, really calling to meditate, go within, and get out of those reoccurring habits. So guys, I love you. I feel like I rambled, but I hope that still your angels pointed out some things for you to focus on. You guys are fantastic. Again, if you want a personal reading with me, all the information's down below. Fill out that form and I'll get you on my roster. Um, I just used a teacher term, but now I have to go teacher things. Do teacher things. So. Ah, love you. <laughs> go to bed, go to work, go whatever, do what you have to be doing, get off of YouTube. Um, I love you. Have a fantastic week. Look out for the next week's videos, hopefully being on Friday, because I want to get these up early and get ahead of myself. I'm always going to be saying that, but I'm human. I got to start charging or something. I don't know. Whatever. So, I love you guys. You're beautiful. Namaste, namaste, namaste. I'm saying I'm saying I'm up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> they're calling me dork. They're call they're calling me funny words that I laugh at, but I'm pretending to be offended. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Go have a spiritual experience with your own connection to Divine Source and the Angels, guys. I love you. Have a fantastic week. Peace. Deuces, whatever the kids say these days. Whatever. <laughs> Bye.